Everyone wants to go to the USA, everyone wants to go to Europe. It's just playing basketball at that high intensity level. And it's just something that I want to prove to myself. My name is Azar Gassama, I am from Woolwich. And I play allié or meneur des fois sous le terrain de basket. When I came from France when I was little, I had a very hard time making friends because back there is a different, different culture and kind of always like an outsider. One lunchtime, I saw these year 11s and year 10s playing basketball, and from there, I just kept playing. My name is Yusuf Atwa, and I'm Austri, on the Bella Point Golf. My family is pretty basketball centric. Basketball is really big in Egypt. Really started coming into it when I started watching the game. I started watching players like Kyrie Irving, Steph Curry. Growing up, Kyrie Irving was my favorite basketball player. I used to watch all his moves. I used to go on YouTube, watch The Professor, all of those guys. I want to go pro. I have dreams and goals of here or pro overseas. Everyone in the UK has a dream of going to the US, and I'm one of them. Everyone thinks that in order to succeed in basketball, you have to go to the US or there's no way out really. Which I think is sad because the UK has a lot of good ballers. It's just that there's no funding, no one really cares. I played for Southern Legends in the National Basketball League. Legends isn't really a program, it's a family. I think we've fostered this family over many years and the coaches are like parents to me. One of them says, Zaza, my son, uh, stay good. <laughs> I joined Legends in 2020. One of the major things that they keep telling us all the time is that hard work is free. Sometimes they're tough, and but I think that's part of it. Like they want to teach you that it's not, not everything's going to be given to you. Preseason back in the day, we used to get absolutely tortured, running 5Ks as a warm-up, carrying each other up hills on piggyback. We have Coach Timmy Houston, the one that's on your case all the time. One of the other coaches, Coach Woody, that just provides you like experiences and information of how it is at the next level. One of my friends called Luke, he's out in the States at Mount Carmel in Baltimore, and he's got about 15 Division I offers to play in Division I high schools, all full rides. He's an athletic freak. He's got a seven foot wingspan, he's six foot ten and he can jump like that, he can shoot, he's got the handles. I mean, he's a, he's a unicorn, really. I think it's not going to take long before a Legends alumni is in the NBA. I mean, our mentality is different. It was, it was a good season. I'm just very proud I was part of that, that team. It went really well for us. I mean, I say that. On paper, it went really well. We were all feeling confident going into the Islands and Panthers game. I mean, we were literally on top of the world. I mean, we'd gone unbeaten pretty much the whole season. I mean, that was, we were supposed to separate first and second place. Yeah, we were we were down by 15 points. You all have to get back, right? Pat the leg and empty cup if you have to. Sprint hard, both ways. That's why they're doing that. So we brought it back at the start of the second half. I think if we didn't have that slow start, it would have been a completely different game. It was heartbreaking really, because all that work we put in, it was a lot of guys last seasons and we didn't make the playoffs, we didn't make national playoffs, which I think we would have done really well in. I still have the aspirations, but I've seen the distance between me and some players, all the work, my work I have to do to get there. Hopefully university's next, I think my grades are going to take me a long way, I'm looking at Russell Groups.
For my A-levels, I got A economics, A in history, and A English literature, and I'm studying at Manchester. So hopefully I'll just uh, play in Manchester in the men's team. I'll get into a position where I can meet people that play at a pro team. I mean, I love the game of basketball, even if I don't become professional. I like to think that the lessons I've learned, all of that, that's going to take, I'm going to take that with me wherever I go. Uh, I'll never stop playing basketball. And I, I, always, I always play basketball like, till I die.